Are ready to go racing and start the season? Start season four here for the Neymar Mind the Rose Cup Series. We're here at Talladega for the Coors Light Shootout. Had to change venue. Something weird was going on with Orlando, so I said, "Yeah, screw that." Anyway, we're here at Talladega now. In the front row, Brenda Rogers in her only confirmed race, the main cup. She's a part timer this year alongside Austin Alves. Then Scott Guarini, Steve Corrala, row two. Frank Hopkins, Logan Scott, row three. Michael Santos, Michael Amato in row four. Kate Rogers, Cody Russell, row five. By the way, Michael Amato only got in because of he was a season champion. Zachary Rogers, Nico Jukali, past two champions in row six. Michael Beeson, Tony Vieira in row seven. Michael Naylor, Henry at a Fitzwater, row eight. Adam, Adam Rogers in by a pass winner. And Benjamin Tilton in row nine. Benjamin Dion is in row ten by himself. ESPN is back to cover races. If you hear your name, this is for YouTubers only. I'm going to just name out YouTubers. Here are the YouTubers that are, I will say, you are full-time or part-time. Chris Washer is full-time. Ryan Kesey is part-time. Mason Powers is part-time. Danny Vaughn is part-time. Eric Powers is part-time. Dion Scott, part-time. Henry Kavanaugh, part-time. Henrietta Fitzwater, full-time. Jordan Newman, part-time. Nicholas Samudio, part-time. Tyler Markle, part-time. Mason Jefferson, part-time. Logan York, full-time. Cameron Garu, part-time. Sean Galligan, full-time. Max Newworth and Emerson Arden, you are part-time. Sam Rogers, part-time. Cody Russell, full-time. Alan Cavanero, full-time. Connor Breeden, Sean Harple, and Andrew Rich, part-time. There's nothing wrong with being part-time. Gives you experience. It's kind of like my... Xfinity series, I guess, almost. I mean, you win the championship, you get a confirmed next season full-time ride. You win a one of the, you would get top three in one of the part-timers races. You get to race the cup race at the track where we're at in the cup series. So you're the 40th, 41st, 42nd drivers. If you win one of those races, that's another automatic Next season, full timer. That's what Henrietta Fitzwater did. That's what Benjamin Mimoso did. Henrietta Fitzwater is only in here because she is. She had a poll. Frank Hopkins did really good, and he's a good friend of a lot of the guys. So that is why he is a full timer this season. Uh, get Raul. Get you to the green flag shortly. Getting ready to go. Green flag racing. 19 drivers, one winner, no real prize, maybe, I don't know, maybe a paint scheme, I don't know, probably not. This is for momentum for the Daytona race, green flag is out, who's it gonna be? Brenda Harala won back here in season two. Looking to finally get another win, even though it doesn't count towards career wins. Some of these drivers that are full-timers looking for maybe a moment, a moment, a momentum push. Now, even though Adam Rogers won this race last season, he didn't get that momentum push until the last three races where he won two out of the last three. So he has got some momentum from that. One at Atlanta and one at Armory. Brenda Harala is going to lead the lap one. Frank Hopkins coming in on the bottom. Also Alves in the middle. Logan Scott on the outside with teammate Michael Amato. So Frank Hopkins clears the, the pack. <sighs> Sorry. Let's talk, you, you're a champion, you get in this race automatically, that's how it works. Hopefully season four brings some good stuff. And I just want to let everybody know right now that once, this is my senior year of high school, once senior year is over, I'm going to be getting a job, and then there will still be races uploaded.
not as many. And then college. But hopefully I'll still be able to maybe do a race or two a week. Depending how my classes are. Anyway, back to the racing action into the present, because that is six months away. Benjamin Dion is in the race lead. And oh boy. They are four wide. Settle it out, guys. Settle it out. Oh, Kate Rogers and Frank Hopkins are side by side rubbing doors. Oh, they're hanging on somehow. Benjamin Dion is in the race lead. They're still hanging on. I don't know how they're hanging on. Oh, boy. Frank Hopkins. Oh, just clears the three car in time. In the back, the three wide racing. As Tony Vieira is going to pull out Nico Tringali, Henrietta Fitzwater. They are going for the lead as the five car group has slightly pulled away from the main pack. I would also like to state there are no pit stops in this race. They are going green to the finish unless they wreck. There was one wreck in last year's shootout. That's because people didn't know how to drive between turns three and four. But so far, it is looking like a really good race, as now Nico Tringali is going to dive to the bottom. Michael Amato would love to win this thing. He hasn't won a real race, or any race, since season one. And even though this one is coming, there's a wreck! The big one! I think we just lost a few drivers. And I saw somebody go upside down. Caution will wave at lap six. Nico Cingali's the race leader. And there's not a lot of them, so they should be able to pack it down good. Benjamin Dion is damaged. Henrietta Fitzwater is smoking. Beeson is done. Logan Scott, Cody Russell, Benjamin Dion. Michael Naylor might have gotten a piece. But it looks like we will have maybe 13, maybe 14 cars left. As Nico Tringali is winning, I would say Michael Amato, even though it would not count towards career wins, it would still be a win. Now let's see what happened to cause our probably first and only caution of the night. Here it is, 78's just rub it into the 31. 31's going to hit the 33, and then it's just going to go on the wall. And that's what hits the 78 up. And then Logan Scott gets clipped all oh, right into the wall. Now, I don't, I just wasn't paying attention. Hang on here. Looks like Michael Naylor slams the brakes to avoid this. So, 13, 14 drivers, I believe, will be continuing. You see Beast and Logan Scott, Cody Russell sliding along his roof. Oh, he went for a barrel roll. Kind of like Kurt Busch's crash here back in 2013. Let's take some onboards. On board with Logan Scott, who had nowhere to go. Oh, man. Thank goodness for that safer barrier. And on board with Michael Naylor. Watch him slam the brakes here. Right from 230 to 139. Whoa. Riding on board with Cody Russell, who might have just gotten the first not at hit of the hard hit of the year, or biggest wreck of the year, I guess. Tough break for Cody Russell. Let's take you to the restart. Ready to go back? Green flag racing. It will be nine to go. Cars out of the race are all that we saw get wrecked. Logan Scott, Cody Russell, Michael Beeson, Henrietta Fitzwater, and Benjamin Dion. 
Top 10 Rundown, Nico Tringali, Michael Amato, Brenda Rogers, Tony Vieira, Austin Elves 5th, Steve Cavallo, Adam Rogers, Zachary Rogers, Frank Hopkins, Michael Santos 10th, Benjamin Tilton, Kate Rogers, Scott Greeny, and Michael Naylor in 14th. Fastest time was belonging to Cody Russell. But since he is out, we can say it's pretty much Michael Amato and Nico Tringali, who are the fast cars on the track. Kate Rogers with the slowest time. Who is, by the way, in 12th. As the cars go by. Fourteen drivers. One will get the victory. And they have decided $250,000. Not really, but. In the game, since 250000 for the game, in the game, I mean, green flag is back out. We are back going racing here today. Nico Tringali is still leading. Zachary Rogers did not get a good jump. He, a good start. He blocked up some of these guys back here, but now it might be giving him a run. They got nine laps to do this. Let's see if they can keep it green. But Nico Tringali is flying away with it so far. Adam Rogers on the bottom. Three wide. Zachary Rogers. Michael Santos behind him. And they're going to go four wide again already. Michael Amato. Someone on the high side. Watch out. Oh! Oh, Nico Rick! Michael Santos! Michael Amato! Frank Hopkins! Brenda Rogers! Caution is out! Brenda Rogers is done! Race back to the line only. One, two, three, four, five, six cars here. They're racing. It's going to be seven to go at the line. They will get another chance at this. But it looks like they're just going to single file it out. Nico Tringali will be the race leader. They couldn't last one lap. No, they lasted not even two laps. Brenda Rogers' day looks to be done. Michael Santos with damage. Amato, Frank Hopkins. These guys' chances are all Dover. Dover, uh huh? I don't know what happened, but it looked like somebody clipped Michael Santos. Surprised some of these drivers didn't get more damage. Let's take you to see what caused our second and hopefully final caution of the night. The best view for he moves up for Benjamin Tilton. And that just makes it a four wide. And Cavallo is going to force him down. He gets into Tilton. Hits the apron, gets loose. It was just going to clip Frank Hopkins. Brenda Harrell, nowhere to go. Slamming into the wall. And then Michael Amato is going to hit Frank Hopkins. So they rub along each other along the wall. And then the 24 gets clipped even more. And he will slide through the grass. He's lucky to have kept that car. Let's take a few onboards here. Start with Michael Amato. Tough break for the season one champ. Now riding on board with Frank Hopkins. Tough break for Frank. On board with Michael Santos. And finally, one more. What with Brenda Rogers? Oh, what a hit! And she goes right into the wall. 
the car still runs, but it is heavily damaged. Tough break for Brendan Rodgers. Let's take it to the restart. Ready to go back green. There will be three laps to go. Cars out of the race. Brenda, Brenda Rogers, Michael Santos, Michael Amato, Frank Hopkins continuing, but with some back end damage. It is really down to 10 drivers. Those 10 drivers are Nico Tringali in the lead, Zachary Rogers in second. The last two champions, season two, season three, are one and two. Then it's Adam Rogers in third who won the shootout last year. Steve Cavallo went fourth, the all-times win leader at seven wins career-wise. And fifth is Tony Vieira. Sixth, Austin Al. Seventh, Benjamin Tilton. One of the, on the only driver to win in both the Code Red and the Live Wire Truck Series. Michael Naylor in eighth. Scott Greeny in ninth. And Kate Rogers in tenth. But I would say the top... Five or so drivers. It's pretty interesting. Getting ready. Three laps of racing to go. It is not a real big deal race, but it kind of is. 250 grand on the line. Green flag is back out for the last time. Who is it going to be? Nico Trincali holding up well. Adam Rogers, Steve Cavallo, Michael Neal to the outside line. Doesn't seem to matter at this point. Frank Hopkins is definitely slower. We can see it now. He's fast, but not fast enough to keep up. His shot is gone. Nico Tringali holding the lead. Zachary Rogers getting the boost from Tony Vieira. Austin Alves, Scott Greeny, Kate Rogers on the bottom as well. Zachary Rogers won two races last season. Nico Tringali won one. Two laps to go. Tony Vieira to the inside. He won at Bristol only last season, and he was not good in the chase. Trying to get a kickstart to season four. Austin Alves got injured at Indianapolis. He was knocked out of the chase because of that. To the bottom, Tony Vieira. Austin Alves right behind. Here comes Scott Greeny. White flag in the air. One lap to go. Leading it this time is going to be Nico Tringali. His cousin Zachary Rogers is giving up the boost. Nico Tringali is going to try to drop to the bottom. And he will. Nico Tringali gets back on the outside to the bottom. Nico Tringali did not start last season well at all. He finally won a race in the first chase race at Michigan. Got himself back up to the top 25 in points to finish the season. Coming out of turn four. Coming to the trial. He will block Tony Vieira and Nico Cingali. It's going to be the season four. Coors Light Shootout winner. Great racing job by Nico Cingali. Had the race dominated the whole night I will see you guys soon I will hopefully have an intro out soon there will be no intro for this race which I'm sure you'll see because now you know what now I'm confusing myself you know what whatever there will be an intro by the, for the start of the season hopefully not as some probably something pretty basic I don't know anyway see you for the start of season four which will be the part-timers race and then Daytona butt pole qualifying I mean, course light pole qualifying. See you guys then. Bye 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 bye.